since it is so early um today we have what's called like hospital day so we're spending the day in the hospital and they pairing us with a third year student so we pretty much just get to see what it's like to be in third year and to have like clinical rotations and so we're each assigned to a different service so my service is um surgery and then some other people got internal medicine and ob but yeah we have to get there at 5 a.m to start rounding with the third year and then just spend the day with them and um you know see some of the things they do and it's nice to just get out of the classroom um i mean we're not actually gonna like do anything it's pretty much shadowing but yeah it's nice to be able to get out of the classroom and be in a clinical setting so yeah that's what i'm doing today and i'll see you guys after <laughs> back um from the hospital it was an interesting day um they didn't they didn't pick the best day for us to go do like the hospital day because um the third year who were on surgery they actually had didactics today so that's pretty much like they were just doing lecture but we did get to round with them in the morning so when i got there i met the first year student who i was with and then we rounded on one of his patients and then we met with a couple of other third years and some of the classmates and the chief resident then we all rounded on patients together so we saw like maybe five or so patients and then after that um yeah they just had lectures so like three different um surgeons came in and gave lectures to them but i mean it was still nice to like not be in the classroom for the day and to actually like get to be in the hospital and all that and then like some of the stuff that um you know we've learned so far in first year you know we actually see how it's applied um well we saw how it was applied through the lectures that the third years had but yeah, I don't know, when you're constantly just always have class, always have lectures, always have exams, like sometimes it's just hard to stay motivated, but I feel like days like this kind of motivate you. You know, like seeing where you're gonna be in a few years or seeing like, you know, what kind of doctor do you wanna be, stuff like that. That kind of gets me motivated because sometimes I'm just, I mean, I feel like we're all just tired of studying at some point. Um, I mean, other than that, like, I guess your motivation can be you don't want to fail or like I know my motivation like to study is like I actually want to know this stuff um for the future um you know for boards and also you want to be the best doctor you can be some of this stuff I just know is irrelevant like some of the stuff that we do in biochemistry like knowing every single enzyme in the reaction like we can really just skip that but I mean yeah it is pretty hard to stay motivated sometimes but I feel like just think about why you started and think about where eventually you're going to get to and that can help with you know staying motivated and days outside the classroom where you get to do clinical stuff that's always good motivation um as well yeah we got out probably like at 12 30 and we're never done with anything that early so i figured i'd use this um extra time and just head to the gym gonna be real rough as far as um school is concerned we have these things called mini boards or shelf exams so we take five of those um 
throughout first year and so we have like a biochemistry mini board which we took in december and then next up we have physiology and um histology which is in the same week and then we also have um anatomy and a neuroscience one which is like later in the spring semester but yeah coming up at the end of february is the physiology and the histology um mini board it's like two days apart and on top of studying for the mini boards we also have to like study for our regular lecture exam like we still have classes we still have lecture exams and the lecture exam is actually the week before the mini board and so pretty much like the mini board just consists of everything we've learned throughout the year so physiology is like all of the physiology that we've learned for the entire first year which is like um renal which we just did and then the um digestive system cardio um pulmonary and then endocrine which is what we're doing now and then same for histology it's just like all the histology stuff that um we've learned for the entire year so i mean it's like studying for a fi two final exams while also you know doing your regular lecture stuff and um having other exams so it can be it can be a lot um last semester when we took the biochem one that was, it was pretty stressful but what i'm using to study for is this is the brs physiology i mean it just pretty much covers every single topic that's going to be on there and then um this histology book and then i'm just doing like some flashcards. um really histology is more the way i'm studying for it is more so just doing like practice questions but physiology i'll i'm reviewing more while also doing um practice questions but i've created a schedule um for both of these exams so every day i know what i need to cover i'm trying to get through the whole brs book make sure i cover everything make sure i'm doing a little bit of questions every day but yeah definitely making a schedule is key because it's just so much information there's no way you can just randomly pick okay i'm gonna do this or i'm gonna do that on whatever day so yeah i made a schedule i'm trying to stick to it and um a lot of studying will be done in the month of february been doing um some respiratory review and some stuff for histology and now i'm about to do a little bit of um lecture material which is endocrine unit right now so thanks again for watching this week um if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and see you next week bye <laughs>